two-thirds of the Earth's surface, around 1.35 billion cubic kilometers of water, 97% salt water and only 2% fresh. The bottom line, water is crucial to survival, a precious asset for the economic, social and environmental development of the planet. But in this equation of life, marine engineering is vital for success in the present and a fundamental area for the future. On a global level and central to Portugal, long associated with the oceans, Overseas never before sailed, Portugal, home of navigators, land of fishermen. The stuff of legends. And today we are rediscovering the oceans, for which Portugal has exceptional conditions that tomorrow will oblige us to capitalize on. The economy of the sea is a strategic plan for the development of our country and several areas of marine engineering with their specialized knowledge are being mobilized for this purpose. Portugal is returning to the sea and marine engineering is standing side by side with the construction of this new maritime route. Knowledge research, innovation, rigor, responsibility, ambition, security. Words dictate works and works result from commitment. This outlines the work of marine engineering. Knowledge of the past, hand in hand with research, gives life to innovation in the present with rigor and responsibility for the future. To see its activity as an ongoing challenge, always looking to go further, in a natural environment of extreme aggressiveness such as the oceans, this is the ambition of marine engineers. This is the posture of a profession with the mission of bringing security to the seas, planning the evolution of society in Portugal and the world, the world which marine engineering helps to make more global. And it is right here that the role of these professionals becomes relevant. They are, and increasingly will be, crucial for the technological developments, for the sustainable exploitation of the multiple resources of the sea. And beyond the traditional industries of construction and equipment for marine and coastal uses, today we are witnessing a development of eco-technologies, an opportunity in our geography and our sea as the main natural resource. Training for the profession is about the same technical solutions, advances in knowledge through maritime exploration, using vessels, platforms, submarine vehicles, structures and energy harnessing methods and material recovery devices. And with such a wide range of focus points, the same curriculum of mathematics, physics and chemistry and computer and material sciences. After this, and to specialize in the profession, hydrodynamics, mechanics, naval architecture, marine engines, construction techniques, project management and logistics complement the curriculum of the future marine engineer. These are, in general, the areas of a higher education where the Portuguese Engineers Association makes every effort to meet the solid goals of rigor and quality and where training is renewed and adapted to the latest demands of society through a process of continuous training. Joining the opportunities and the needs of the multiple classic uses of the sea in transport, fishing, port and maritime services, in security and defense, in safeguarding human life in concern for the environment, in energy complexes, in aquaculture, maritime tourism, sports boating and historical research, in education and in regulatory entities. 
The areas of activity of marine engineering are multiplying with the importance the oceans are assuming with each day that passes. This is the objective for posterity and always with the stamp of the Portuguese Engineers Association. Because this is no longer about a sea route, it is about discovering and building a new world with marine engineering.